<laughs> okay, welcome everybody. We we're just playing a bit of DVD, but we switched to Inscription. It's a card game that started really, really interesting, right? So basically, at the start of the game, you don't have a new game option. The game kind of messes with you a lot. Instead, you have to continue game. And when you do that, you wake up in this dark cavern, right? And there's some old man that forces you to play a card game. Um, and this card game, I guess, is not too different than other card games. There's like a bunch of different creatures. They're all different animals, right? And they all have different stats, but they have a lot of twists. Like some animals hit twice, some animals fly, some animals burrow, some animals take hits for others, some animals poison and kill in one hit, but they also die in one hit. Some animals need blood to be summoned, some animals are stinky, like that stoat, and they make other animals weaker. Uh, really crazy stuff. And eventually it built up to this massively uh, overbearing final fight, and when I kill the, 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 the big guy, I thought, wow, that's a really nice game. And then the game goes really creepy, and you start to see this found footage of some streamer talking about card games. And he goes into the woods and finds a floppy disk that contains inscription. And he brings it home and plugs it in. And then, when I thought the game was going to be over, you can actually begin the new game, and it brings you into this 90s-style 2D RPG game called Inscription. And that's when I noticed... I realized that what I was doing before was role-playing the game, and this is the actual game. And then you have to beat that. Uh, and then you beat that, and then something else happens, and it just blew my mind. It blew my mind completely. Uh, but after you beat it, and I hope you do, it's really good. It's, it's, super, it's super crazy. You unlock Casey's mod. And Casey's mod is not a mod, it's actually just a mode, like a, like a game mode. And it takes the first section of inscription, which is the best one, let's be real, right? And, and it gives you like a roguelike experience. So I can choose my starting cards. I can go with a stout, with a little froggy, with a wolf, or with a big uh, elk that I can summon with a sacrificial goat, or start with an ant deck. Uh, there's also more, but I haven't unlocked them yet. Now, I've played this a little bit, right? Um, which is... Really nuts. And then when you pick one, let's say this, you now can pick uh, how the run is going to be harder. Now, I picked this, up, I think, four times. But ever since, the game has kicked my ass. Like, I cannot beat it again. It's super hard. So, yeah. We need to pick enough to get to 50 challenge points, right? So that we progress. So let's see how we do that. No boss rares. Bosses only give you regular cards. I'm not gonna take this. I think the, 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 the boss cards save my ass and have really good properties. Tip scales. This is really rough. I've, I've lost so many... Um, like, this basically means you start with one less HP, and it sucks. But I'm gonna pick it. I'm just going to make sure that I don't pick normal battles with totems. Because normal battles with totems and minus one HP, you just lose so often. Oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, mods, just, just, just chill. Let people do whatever. I don't mind, really. Um, smaller backpack. Less items. Pricey pills. Sure. What do I pick, chat? Mm. Even this is not enough. Okay. Smaller backpack. Sure, whatever. No clover, sure. And boss totems. Alright, wish me luck. We're starting. Hello? There we go. Right, so we have our stoat, the bullfrog, our wolf, and two rabbit pelts that we can immediately exchange to something. Okay, we're gonna do it. This is a great start. Right, so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to buy a creature that has an amazing power that we can immediately give to someone else. And there's already two here that uh, are really good. I think having the black goat would be invaluable right now. The black goat can be sacrificed. It's only one blood, but it can be sacrificed for three. And then I could summon something else that's strong, right? 
So my idea is we're gonna get the black goat and we're gonna give it to another creature that is uh, a little bit more uh, useful in a first turn. So first turn we do the stoat for example and then we sacrifice it to get something else. Mm, hi Muma, uh, no I, I played it off stream but this one will be on YouTube so if you want to say hi YouTube, shoo, thank you so much for the sub and thank you like, like okay. You can stand up in the mod as well? Really? Wait, I didn't know that. Can I do that right now? Hold, hold up. I didn't know that. Okay, that's really good. Let's get the black goat. And after that, chat, what do you think would be a nice ability to buy? A uh, moles are pretty useful. Yeah, the Mantis seems like the other good choice. I also like the the power up on a turn, but the Mantis double hit is pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. Right, so we traded with the trader. And now, um, so you say I can change the ambience. How do I do that? I know I can change my character. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, that's cute. Oh, it's a song. Uh, do I need to change it? Okay. It's a bit scary, but... Oh! Oh, I like this better. Oh, wow. Right. Um, let's be real. The store right now is completely worthless. Should I give it to it so it has something going for it? Or should I give it to the bullfrog, which is by far, like, in every aspect superior? Tough one. Frog. Alright, frog. I could use the frog as a, as a meat shield with the anti-air. Hmm. I'll give it to the stoat. So that we don't have a completely worthless card. This one is fine to sacrifice. Alright, we have our first fight coming up. I'm gonna lower the music a tiny bit. This one's just louder, I feel. Perfect. Excellent. Hmm, that's a bit bad. Hmm, let's see. Right. Um, I think I want to summon the wolf immediately. Uh, this raven gets really mean and out of control really quickly. Let's just kill it. Now he doesn't have any offensive cards. Good. Okay. I'll walk you through what I'm doing. Uh, but basically, well, you need to understand that the squirrel on the top right has no requirement. It's a free card. And it's one creature, so I can sacrifice one blood to summon another creature. And every turn I can draw one card, either a squirrel or another one of my normal cards. Alright, I'm gonna draw a normal card. It's a stoat. Oh, I didn't play that well, did I? I could have put the stoat for a bit more damage. Not a big deal. Right, so we advance in the map. And this is a gamble. Hey, that's not too bad. Hi, Lynn. What happened with DVD? Thought about this year. Didn't play it some time. Is it better now? I infested. Honestly, why don't you wait for the anniversary? They're doing big things. Two upgrades seems really... ...appealing. Alright. I don't think any of these are great. 
What do you think, Chad? Uh, you know what? Having a good Mantis with two damage for the Trapper fight would be awesome. I, I almost wanted to just keep the Mantis as a sacrificial thing. But yeah, this would be pretty powerful. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm only one and we're out. Two is good. Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, this is the overworld, right? We just pick places and there's different things. Some of them give me stuff, some of them are fight, some of them can take the stuff away from me. Right. So... This is my side of the board on the back. And on the front, it's their side of the board. Now, this particular fight has a totem to it. Which means that every creature that is a flying bird, because it's a totem of a bird, has the watchdog ability. And the watchdog or guardian ability is that they basically try to move and never um, take a hit. That's the idea. Let's do that. Now, our Mantis has the ability to hit twice, like the Pinsir-like ability. And that means that it hits here tw with two damage and here with two damage. But it also has very little health, so it's gonna get killed by this Elk Fawn. Are we okay with that? I would say so. Um, we could even do a lot of damage. The Stoat can be sacrificed for more blood because of an ability we gave it, so we can just get the wolf. Alright, this should be good. We should do so much damage that we get some extra points. When you do more damage than required, you get extra cash, basically. Alright. Very nice. Let's see if we can get a 3 blood card. Okay, this isn't a 3 blood card, but it's a really mean one. Yeah, the, the dire wolf is fearsome. Let's get it. My base HP. Okay, so there's a scale, right? And the scale sits in the middle. When it goes five points up, my opponent dies. When it goes five points down, I die. And sometimes some bosses have extra faces, but that's basically it. The Dire Wolf evolves into a big Dire Wolf that does double attacks. And if we power it up, that double attack becomes really crazy. I think if we want to have a balance... Um, deck, we could invest in this right now. He's a bit weak, as you can see. He doesn't want hit if he's a bit squishy. Now, chat, do I want to go absolutely ballistic and take my chances to upgrade it twice? There's a chance that it will get another free upgrade, but there's also a chance he will die. I'm doing it. Shit. Oh, that's a powerful one. Shit. Let's place it here. See if we can summon something else. This is gonna hit me really hard. But now it will be in front of the rock. Alright. That's really good. We're fighting back. And it's hitting a boulder or something. I'm gonna summon a squirrel. Put a bullfrog just to tank this damage. It will die, but we'll do extra damage. Very nice. And um, what now? Let's get a squirrel. Uh, we're gonna win. Hmm. Bit of a shame. Is there any way I can delay this? Do we even more? Nah, let's just take the W. I do one extra damage, so I get one extra tooth. And this is where I use the teeth, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Ikis. The streak made it to 17 or so. I'm taking a break now. I really like this game, so... I have exactly four. Uh, yeah, I might as well. Chad, should I give the Mantis ability to the Wolf? I don't think it's good. We already have upgraded it. I think the Mantis should stay as it is. Which means we have to give the Bullfrog ability to... What? The Golden Belt? Wolf. 
Yeah, this isn't too bad, really. Especially if we upgrade him later, which we might. We might do it just now, in fact. But it's nice to have extra creatures, because we're going against a boss that is a bit mean. Extra damage. I think our wolf needs something, yeah? I do not risk it this time, though. We don't even have enough creatures to beat this boss up, I feel. The first one, yeah, the first upgrade is guaranteed. The second upgrade, it's a 50-50 whether you're gonna lose the card or not. I don't know the exact percentage, but... So this is the trapper. This is fantastic, though. Because we can, we can mess with this thing. My problem, though, is that my mantis is very weak. So I don't know how to protect it for a long time. I can kill two of these traps. You know what? Think it through, think it through. I'm gonna put the stored in, I think. Yeah, you might think it's crazy. I think it's gonna work out. Because the stored the has 2 HP. Extra damage. Okay, we'll take a hit now. And hopefully, we're gonna drag a wolf out of our deck right now. Nice. So we're gonna take the wolf. Wait, two seconds. Oh shit. Shit. Hold on. Can we survive this next attack? One, two- yeah, we can. We're gonna put the wolf in here. And we're gonna... There's a problem with this strategy. They move, right? They move. Perfect. Excellent. Right. Uh, this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna put a pelt right here to protect ourselves from this one attack. We're gonna use the smoke to summon the mantis, which will take this and this. And the best part is that because... Wait. This is a good idea. Uh, I hope so. Dude. Oh, that would have been almost perfect. Oh, man. We're just now kind of out of cards. Oof. Shit. <laughs> That's okay, as long as I have pelts, right? I need to bring it back somehow. Uh, will the trap move, chat? Do I need to bring the trap to my side? Uh, let's find out. No, the trap doesn't move. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, but there's nothing in front of it that it's not gonna kill it, right? Oh, we're doing great! We're doing great! Uh, we don't need to use any of these items here, set. Bonk. And bonk. And now we very slowly take it back, maybe. Now, we don't have any other creatures other than the Mantis, but we can buy some in this next phase. Uh, yeah, that's it. Get more squirrels, I guess. Excellent, so... Tip the scales, that's phase one. In phase two, the Trapper turns his mask around and he becomes a traitor. And now I can use all of my pelts to buy his cards. And we need to be very smart about this. Whatever we grab. Okay, so we have a Mantis. The Mantis will not survive this pop attack, unfortunately. Oh, how much can I trade, chat? I have... That's really good, though. I have four. I can rob him of four things. I think I won the Kingfisher. Doing two damage and flying seems good. That skunk seems pretty nice, pretty nice as well, but it does no damage. 
If I grab his mantis too, I could kill the pop and the other mantis. Let's start with that. The elk fawn is powerful. And in front of those skunk, it would do nothing. I think we grab it. Then what? You can beat him in one turn. You might be right. Alright, let's try. Okay. No. Mantis. Wait, this mantis... Okay, it's not flying now. This is good. But this should kill this and that, and not attack the porcupine so that it won't take damage. Um, this will attack the porcupine. Which is a bit of a problem, I guess. That should be okay. I could- I could remove this mantis. For this. Which will not attack the porcupine and will attack only into spaces. And if we have a skunk here, then this thing won't be able to do much afterwards. Alright, good. I think we got it. Maybe didn't need to overthink that so much, but we we came here with so few cards. It was a bit scary. All right, so that's one boss done. There will be three more. Oof, oof. Oh, that's actually tough. If we were to give Mantis God to our Dar to our to our Wolf or something, that would be insanely good. The Gek though is like, it's like, it's like a weird card. Like, if we get Gag with some abilities, it can be super busted. It can let me summon Wolf in one turn, lots of stuff. But yeah, Mantis God is just so... It's good by itself and it's great if we give his triple attack ability to anyone. Simply Nico, thank you for your Prime. We're so lucky. Alright, let's think this through. We want to go here, don't we? We have the chance to duplicate a card there, which is really powerful. We haven't used items yet. Ooh, ooh, oh, dude, oh my god, these are all really good. I think Corpse Seeder is really good, however. This ability, if you give it to a beefy creature, it can literally uh, make it spawn for free. So you put a little rabbit or whatever, they die, and then a big-ass bear comes in. Yeah. Damn. So good. With Ura Yuli, I know, right? I think I'll grab it. And it's also a bone creature. We summon this by killing things and accumulating bones, which we don't have yet, so I think I'm grabbing the maggots. What do I want to go with afterwards, though? Let's take this upgrade. Is it health? No, damage. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, so the stone is basically a sacrificial lamp. We want it to be weak. Maybe a bit of extra health, but it's weak. Fine. Mantis is a bit overkill if we give it more power, but it would be really good. Mantis God would be insane with two damage. Problem is, we're probably gonna sacrifice it to give this ability to something else. Now, if we have Wolf with 5 damage and we give it Mantis God after, it does 5-5-5. Five, five, five. So... I don't know. That seems good. Five 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 is a waste? That's true. If we have 2-2-2, two, 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 that's 6. So it's an insta-win with Mantis God. You're right. Should we upgrade Mantis God then? Alright. 
Should I do it again? <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, I really believe. <laughs> Oh man, we literally had a free win car, then we gave it away. Chad, why do you make me do that? That was very clearly such a bad idea. <sighs> Chad, why do I listen to you? That was ter I also placed this terribly. Look, we would be so fine right now. Oh dear. So gritty. So unbelievably gritty. Shame on you, chat. Shame on you. I'm sorry, I probably wouldn't have done it if I was playing by myself. But how could I resist it? How could I? This would be- Oh, hold up. Can I resist that? Yeah, I can. And I'll kill the wolf. Let's do this. Nice, the uh, corpse maggot took its place. Awesome. It will die, however. Oh, never mind, it's good. Now it does. Um, do I just tank with little squirrels here and there? We have so little cards, Chad. I wonder why. Can you give a quick explanation of this game? Yeah. Basically, I have to collect cards and try to beat bosses in this. In this really tricky world. And the cards have the damage on the left and the health on the right. And a bunch of different effects that are so varied and different. It's kinda crazy. Oh, we lost the dire wolf, didn't we? Damn it. This is good. This is good. This is really good. We're gonna give Undyne to that Ura Yuli. Yeah, we will. Hmm. I have no money for that trapper though. Alright. What is this extra damage? I think it will make most difference on Wolf. All right, third time the charm, right? Yes, let's go, finally. All right, this thing will be a beast. It will do like four damage twice. Okay. I was okay losing it. Yeah, Corpse Eater basically makes the thing spawn anytime anything dies on your side of the board. Okay. Ooh, ooh we want to get rid of that fucking Pronto, dude. Okay, I'm going to do this. Summon the Beehive. And yeah, that should do. Now it's gonna attack it. I'll get a B. Now in my next turn, I'm gonna draw a squirrel. I'm gonna put the squirrel here. Sacrifice this, sacrifice that. And the B can be... I mean, it can be here, right? Why not? That dire wolf is scary if you allow it to grow. Stowed. We can win right now if I want to. Problem is, I don't want to though. Wait, do I want to? No. We can win on our terms. I can now summon a squirrel. This is three blood, this is one blood. Together, four blood. Uda Yuli. And with the cash we get from that, maybe we can buy something good. Thank you. Egg shop for your sub. Let's do it. So we have... How much is that? Nine? Not enough for a wolf belt. I'm gonna buy the knife. The knife is really good. Super useful. Okay. And the free belt. Um, 
This is bad. We don't have duplicate cards, do we? We don't have anything to duplicate, but that means it will give me something, so... The knife allows me to kill a card of an enemy, and I also gain a pelt, so I can kill a card and put a pelt to block. So for this you need a duplicate card. <gasps> Dire Wolf Pop. Or, or Double Mantis. Ugh. Mantis or Dire Wolf? I think Dire Wolf. And next time we get one of these, we duplicate the Dire Wolf, which will give it extra HP and extra attack. It will be busted. I think I'm going with the Dire Wolf. Yeah. Okay, fight. Let's go. Can't believe we lost Mantis God. Oh, oh, chat. Chat, we can win this. the squirrel there. We can win with that alone. Oh. Oh, can we? Yeah, we'll take a bit though. Jesus, how many cards do you have, bro? Insane. Maxi, thank you! Nothing better than sitting down and watching a stream. Thank you, I enjoy this game so much. It brings me a lot of joy that I can share with you. Alright. I don't like this blood uh, thing. I don't. I really don't. I'd much rather see the cards I'm picking. If you go right, it gives you a random card. Here, I can see them. Oh, shoot. Guys, should I go for... For this and give Undying to another creature? Or a goat? We could give Undying to the wolf or something insane. Goat is best play? What, you think? Goat for your high cost. But we already have a goat. Goat, I'd say. Really? Okay, I'll go with your judgment. Uh, Undying? Yeah, Corpse Eater, sorry. Mm. A beehive that can be sacrificed is a massive resource, my guys. Imagine it spawns in, it takes one damage, it gives me one bee, and then I turn that into something. Oh, wait! We have Urayuli already. Oh, that's what we were waiting for. No, this is much better. Yeah, this big guy will spawn for free if anything gets sacrificed. Oh, yeah. That's the play. Oh, look at it. I had never upgraded this. Excellent. And now we can think of something else. Right. Um, how about the idea we just mentioned? A really high cost beehive. Seems good, right? If you got if you put goat on beehive, you'll get three blood bees. I didn't even think of that. That's insane. Because the bees carry the genes of the mother. That's crazy. Oh, that's nuts. Free bees that can be sacrificed? Oh wow, I didn't even think of that. That well that just made it so much better. Very well. So there's a there's a bit of a tricky part to this fight actually. Wait. Hmm. Did I mess up? I think we'll be fine. No. Um, 
that's kind of obscene, dude. Oh my god. We, we're gonna save the wolf for later. Let's go, let's go, let's take it easy. Alright, take it back. Big wolf. Oh man, this is gonna get hard soon. That's really good. Wait, if this dies, does it replace it? We're gonna find out. That would be bad, actually. Oh god. Oh! Damn it, dude. I need to save some of these good cards for later. Bruh. Bruh. Oh god. Am I gonna survive this? This will die. And this will certainly die. And then I'll take three damage. I should be fine. That's okay. As long as we kill the mule. As long as we kill the mule, which we certainly will. We should be good. Because the mule now gives us a pack of cards. Yeah, now we're fine. Because whenever you hit stage two, uh, you'll see what happens. Well, let's see it. He just goes a bit ballistic. There's gold in them cards. Bonk. And bonk. Dive Wolf Pup. Alright, there's a lot of options here. Beaver. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna begin by summoning a Dire Wolf right now. And then we're gonna make a Stoat. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Wait, can I win in a single turn? Oh, you fucking bet I can. Yeah, this is over. One, two, three. Bum, 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 bum. I'm some tip. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think we would. I guess I forgot that we upgraded the Dire Wolf a lot. Nice. You don't get second chances in bosses. If you die, it's over. For normal fights, you can lose one. Woof, 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 woof. Damn, that's a, that's a tricky one. Ah, uh, thank you, Smexy. You're very kind. Uh, that kind of crazy guy. Thank you for the prime welcoming. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've never, I've never taken the Deus. I've never taken this. When a car burned, the sigil split. A chime is created on each empty space. Chime is zero power, one health. So this is like the damn. But can a can a bell be sacrificed? What does it do? What is it different? What is it different from, from a dam builder? However, attacks the bell, the Deus counter attacks. What? Um, why did they not explain that? That's kind of crazy. The Long Elk is really creepy and really cool. The Mole Man is very cheap and very strong. Um, what do you think, chat? Hmm. It's alright, mods. I don't mind if the jokes are there. Insta-kill would help, sure. And we need more bony creatures. Bye bye. What's the red message that keeps popping up? Oh, um, that is because of the mod. Uh, so in the mod, we have a lot of difficulty settings, right? So when I go to a fight, sometimes because of my difficulty, the fight, I start with less health. So you see a line of the code that says, uh, you know, less health dot, uh, dot X or whatever. That's the idea. Right. So do we have a lot of pelts? We have one pelt. I don't even want that. Oh, excellent. Let's go. Alright, so this is an interesting one. It's a little cave with a monster. And the monster draws three random cards from your bunch. And the three random cards need to have an average of whatever this is. 
Now, many of my cards have sigils, so I think it's safe to go with sigils. Yeah, most of them have one or two. But what about the health? Two, two, one, one, two, seven, one, one, two. Health is very safe too. I'll go with this. Nice. <laughs> this guy alone already has more than six. Right, so I have passed and now I get a special card. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Wait. Wait! Dude, that opossum is actually kind of... It, it spawns and then it spawns itself? I've never seen that. Alright, this might not be too terrible, but this is actually insane. Alright, let me tell you what will happen. So this guy can be summoned with bones, right? But he will summon himself. He will summon himself anytime anything dies. And when he does, it will create a copy of itself. Because of the... Uh, mice uh, trait. So if it dies, it will make a copy. If it plays, it will make a copy. And if it dies, it will be re the copy will replace it. That's disgusting. Get to get in here, dude. Let's get some items. Uh, we have a full pack of items, I think. Your pack was full, but we get a little rat giving us an item. Thank you. I don't love that card. Ah, uh, so the the duplicate won't have the sigil. That's a shame. There's a fucking spider chat. Hold me. Okay, bit of a slow start, but I think we're good. Right, holy fuck, the broken egg! Oh my god! That's nuts, bro. Bro, we have a deck to die for. Holy moly. Not a lot of damage went through, but next one is gonna destroy, dude. Look, four and seven! Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, two, which will be lost, then two, then four, then four again, because this is a double hit. So we're already doing 10 and then 17. Oh my god, we're gonna be rich. Oh my god, that was disgusting. <laughs> and look who we're going to after. Awesome. <laughs> so what do I want? No knife. Do I have enough for 20? Uh, the pre- the- There's- I don't have enough. We'll get a wolf belt then. Alright, well, that was a bit disappointed, but sure. Next, we're gonna go on duplicate, because we do have one duplicate card. I don't know if you remember. These guys take uh, two cards that you have that are the same, and fuse them together. And we have one duplicate card too. Well, I'm not gonna duplicate the rabbit pills. Alright, dark wolf become very powerful. Having two health will be awesome. And having four damage that then goes up. Oh my god, it's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be like five fire or something. Excellent. Bit of a slow start. I hope I don't get overwhelmed by more ants. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna die super fast, chat. We need we need a good car right now. Oh hell yeah. Um not enough though. These guys are gonna do four damage next. Can I even take that? Nope, I'm dead. Uh shit, what do I do? Another pelt? No, it flies over. Both of them fly over. Um, I could do a B and kill it. Yeah, I could do a B, kill it. Uh, deals one damage? No, no, no. This is one damage. But when this, when this flying ant joins in, they do as much damage per ant. 
So it will do two, two. But if I kill her, it will only do one. So I think I can do that. Wait, no, it flies. It will fly over. Skin the ant. Yeah, I might need to. Um, if it does four, we'll lose by a little bit, but we'll lose. And I don't think there's any way to dodge it. We just had pretty bad luck. I can't sacrifice anything else. I need to skin. Yeah. I have to. It will be fine. Next turn, turn we'll get something strong, I bet. <gasps> Excellent. Yeah, we're totally fine now. <gasps> yeah, shame. Oh my god, this is great. You're right. The opossum will not have... But it will! It does keep on dying, though. Or... Uh, die. Corpse eater. Long elk. That's a shame we have to use an item, but... Shit, even the fucking tree stump is damaging. We're gonna be okay, right? Uh I wish she had not we had not won that so quickly. Alright, let's see what we got. Where's my HP? It's the it's the balance, guys, it's the scale. If it tips to my side and it was very close. Unkillable seems like a good deal. Get it. Now, do I want to give... Do I want to duplicate a card? If we duplicate the Wolf or the Ura Yuli, that could be disgusting, guys. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. The Candle Flame is like an extra life. What about Unkillable? We could also give Unkillable to something else, true. Do dupes keep sigil? They do, but sometimes they lose it. Let's see it. Alright. I'll pick... My Ura Yuli. Having two of these means that I have a good chance of getting it in my hand and using it early. Let's see what happens. Is it a perfect copy? It has five health instead of seven health. Boo -hoo. who cares? Doesn't matter. That's still incredible. Sometimes they can be different, uh, better or worse. I've seen both. That's really good. Uh, this is a totem fight. Watch out, because every every reptile will have X. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well I win. Don't I? Wait, 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 wait. Am I gonna take too much damage from this next turn? Shit. Shit, shit. Did I just fucking lose? Oh my fucking god. I think I lost. I don't have enough for the cockroach now. It was so simple. I just needed to place the wolf in the open. Items? I cannot do anything. Funny. But that's okay. We have two lives. As long as that doesn't happen again. And let's hope it doesn't. I'll be more careful. Shame. Alright. Maybe we get a gecko. River snapper. I don't love this. It doesn't fit us so well. Uh, yeah, if you reach the boss, you're fine anyway. 
Um, right, Twitter want to do more damage. Beehive would be nice if it did a bit of damage. We already upgraded Mantis. It would be an insta win if it had one more. Yeah. Maybe Mantis then. We don't do it twice this time. Do you get the life back? Yeah, after every boss you get it back. This might be health, this might be damage. And it is one damage. Okay. I think Mantis is solid. Let's give it to something else. The Ura Yuli is really scary. If the if this opposite had more damage, it would be quite nasty. Beehive would be nice to have at least one. What do you think? If this opossum has more damage, every child of his will have more damage. Mm. Seems like we're we're all on in agreement. But only one child. True. Snapper? No, I'll get rid of Snapper any chance I have. In fact, it wouldn't be a crazy idea to give this to the pack rat and just try to go for two of them. If we get two, we have a strong card. If we don't get two, we lose a card we don't want. Beehive is good, Chad, but like, it's not health, like, it doesn't matter. Hi, Jaja. Oh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Just move the pack right sigil. That is a good point. All right. I'll go with Beehive because it will make us start with one point. Yeah. It'll make us start with one point. Will it boost the beast? No, I don't think so. Uh, come back, Tedel. Thank you for the 16. Welcome back. Oh, damn. Stinky. That's terrible. My low attack cards might really suffer. Okay, this is a hard version of this. We have a raven coming up. Damn, son. Shit. That wolf needs a turn. I think we're summoning Direwolf and putting him here. He'll do four, which is almost great. Yeah, I think we can live with this. Mantis in corner is also pretty smart, but then the Raven will out damage me. Now starting the next turn, this little bad fucker becomes a monster. And it doesn't matter that he wants to snatch it from me. Because I can just end this right now. Now there's gonna be a little problem. Gonna put a little fucking... Yeah. Shit. It will kill it though. Dude, this can survive. Yeah. Wait, it requires two? This can be really good. Hold up. Check it out. Nice. Get fucked, dude. Get absolutely destroyed. Nice. Let's see what beat it. Amazing. Is that the second boss? Or the third? Oof. That's third. Um, we're a bit late for Ouroboros. Ouroboros, if you get it a bit early, you can just keep sacrificing it and keep killing it. It's disgustingly strong. I think we should go for Mantis. See if we can give that to somebody else since we lost it. Right, we're gonna have a very short one. I think we're in a really good spot. Yeah, we go this way. Huh. 
How amazing is this? Bro, are you kidding me? Should we give the triple attack to Long Elk so it kills everything? <laughs> Should we make Darwolf an absolute fucking god of destruction? Mm. Unkillable Mantis God would also be really good. Give it to the Direwolf? Wait, wait, chat. No, 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 no. Direwolf doesn't use it. He, he doesn't, he doesn't get, he doesn't get, like, six attacks. He gets five. Long Elk would be really good. <laughs> Let's do it. He will be a board swiper. You don't even see his face on his cards, so silly. Only five attacks? Trash then. No, but I'm trying to say it doesn't work the way you might think. Alright, final boss. Oh, oh no. What is that totem? Oh, retaliate damage. Shit. Wait, I can win this right away. No, not quite. Please don't fucking whack my card. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch! I need something good. <gasps> chat, 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 chat. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, yeah, it's too slow. I can win this, I can win this, but I need to be smart. Okay, I think I know what to do. Do this. That gives me four bones. This is good. All right, let's try. B. Bum, 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 bum. No! My beloved. Let someone something. Ooh! All right, Wolf, you need to fucking slap ass, my guy. Almost. Oh no. Oh yes, that's good. <gasps> okay, we live, we live, we live. All right, Wolf. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, double time stand should kill anything, right? There's nothing to stop us. Okay. That's phase one. Uh, okay. And now we start with these cards. They, I've gone through the second phase really quickly. And it looks really easy. Until something goes wrong. <gasps> Amazing. If they break this. Dude, 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 dude. That's not good, dude. This guy's gonna kick my ass. I need to- I need to grab him from my side. This ammo gum is too strong. Let's do that. Wait. It went through? Nice. Final face. Uh, I thought it would tank damage. The moon. Okay, I'm gonna put a pelt here. When it breaks, the Ura Yuli will be summoned. Yeah, good luck, son. My cards were busted, bro. They were so busted. We did it! We did it!
get wrecked. Nice, dude. I hadn't been able to do this in a long time. You guys provided amazing advice. And we did it with tip scales, which is minus one damage to your side. Price your pelts, which kind of hurt us at one point. Smaller backpack, we only had like, what, two items. No lucky re-rolls on the cards. And all the bosses had totems, which give them advantage. But we got pretty lucky. None of them were super insane. And now we're going to unlock stuff, which is the most exciting part. I'm addicted to Lesh's inscription. It's far from perfect, though. Some really unbalanced shit in here, to be honest. I have my Ouroboros up to over a hundred thanks to the stupidly broken fake and due to combo. I decided that I'm going to work on making this balance. Or maybe a bit of an actual challenge. I'm making it a mod. I wonder what love she will think. Right. So we have a new card. What is this? Mealworm. When Mealworm is sacrificed, it adds its stats values to the card it was sacrificed for. Oh my god, that's so cool. Nice, what else? Start a deck unlocked. <gasps> what? What? Two worms and a mantis god? That's insane. Challenge unlocked. More difficult. More and stronger opposing creatures in all battles. Oof, that's some stuff. All right, guys, let's let's leave it here. Let's leave it here. This was so fun. This was so fun. That's insane, dude. This is how this is how much I've been playing. Look, I've been defeated forty three times. I've been I've been grinding this upstream on and off. <laughs> the first couple were not too hard. The third was hard. The fourth was tricky, and the fifth one I I hadn't had it in a single. Like I played one day and didn't get a single win. <laughs> Most scales damage in one turn, 43. Oh my god. Squirrels harm a thousand. <laughs> oh god, okay. That was fun. Chat, we're calling it a night. What counts as misplay? Uh, the, somebody looked into the code and it's a completely random number. The, the, the creator just made it to mess with you. Oh. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by and watching me play Casey's mod. This is the best part of this game. I love it. And I'll probably play it again. Off stream, on, on stream, off stream. Uh, I'll let you guys know. What's a nice stream? Thank you so much. Wow, dude, what a nice, what a nice little run we had despite sacrificing so much. <laughs> oh, thank you, Capybara. I hope you guys try it out. It's a great game. Uh, ridiculous comrade, uh, Smexy, and everybody else. Thank you so much for the subs. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you are sexy. You are handsome. Come here. I'm going to kiss you. Thanks so much for watching.